I'm Stacey J. And I'm Chuck Duran. Are you ready? No, are you really ready for part two with the totally rated R fabulous John DiMaggio? Let's go. <laughs> John. Yes. You precious, precious. <laughs> <man>. <laughs> so precious. Um, so wh where do you get inspiration for, you know, you're always creating new characters. You're having to fill that well of creativity. Where do you kind of keep... How do you stay fresh on, um, on your game? I, you know, um, it's it's funny. I just have this. I don't know. I have this. This. Th th I've always listened to to people and stuff, and you know, and pedestrian life, because you always want to hear somebody else. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of the like you know, there's guys. There's guys that are like um, that I do. You know, there's, there's these guys here. You know, there's, there's guys I do that talk like this, and it's because I knew those guys back. You know, hey man, this guy. Hey, this this brothers I know from back in Jersey where I grew up in Plainfield, Plainfield, New Jersey, was home of Parliament Funkadelic and the '67 riots. You can kiss my ass, honky. <laughs> My first, uh, my, yeah, the first thing I said, uh, I, I came home from, uh, came home from kindergarten. This is a true story. I was kindergarten. crying. Kindergarten. Kindergarten. I was crying, and my mom said, "Sweetheart, why are you crying?" I was like, "Mom, am I a white motherfucker?" <laughs> she was like, "Yes, you are." <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, you're not. A but well, like, you just take it in. It's all, it's all that. It's mm. all your environment, and you, mm. you suck it up like a sponge. And kind of regurgitate stuff and pick it up and yeah, and you seem like yeah. you're really, what, really good at that. That's man. what happens. That's great. You've got the regurgitation down, down to, a to a science, science my friend. Word, down. word, right? Microsoft Word. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, John. Yes. Stacy has a question for you. Yes. <laughs> okay, so you have fans around the world that love your work. Pretty cool. You yeah. do a lot of appearances at cons all over the world. Yes. What? Is it about doing that? Oh my them God, can you hear my stomach? That you, uh, was that you? That was my stomach. I thought it was an earthquake. No, my God, we, just, all we have are apples. No, we don't, don't have proper snacks. You know why? I'm no, sorry. it's just like, what a Pez? It's smelly in there. A kiss Pez. <laughs> I'm just glad it's not smelly out here. Here. Yay! Have a kiss Pez. <laughs> Oh, there Sorry. you go. Yeah, I just did the Kevin Michael Richardson. No, oh, that's awesome. I love yeah. this. Look at that. I have the best. Oh my God, I have the best kiss story. I saw them in Anaheim, and they're and 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 Paul at a Stanley. convention. No, no, at a convention. <laughs> okay, good. No, we're yeah, talking we're about talking convention. about conventions. <laughs> yeah, I saw I saw I saw a kiss in Anaheim, and Paul Stanley got on a rig that took him out over the audience. Yes. And it got stuck, <gasps> and he was stuck there for like five ten minutes. <laughs> It was awesome. <laughs> it was the best. It was awesome. He Dude. was just like, because he was like, yeah. And then he got back on stage and he was just like, I really wanted to get out there and talk with you and be with you fans. <laughs> yeah. Like it was just the <laughs> silliest. I was just like, oh, it's yes. as bad. But yeah. no, but conventions. Sorry. Yeah. Conventions are really fantastic. I like conventions because it's a chance for me to hear the applause. Mm -hmm. That's what I say. Because it's like you're in the booth and you get the microphone in front of you and. You don't get to hear the applause, except for maybe the people in the booth. Yeah. And then when you go to these conventions, it's just awesome. People are just like, oh my God, like you, you shaped my childhood. And it makes me feel old as shit, but I don't care. Mm. It's awesome, because that's yeah. why I did it. And, um, and so that's, that's really awesome. I love doing conventions. And it takes you all over. And like I'm an old road dog. Like I did stand-up for six years yeah. on the road, and it's just like... I love that. I love being on the road and like you know, just going places and 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 meeting people that that are you know that are like minded and and you know and appreciate what I do and yeah. and I have fun and it's yeah. great. And, That's cool. It's and a, it's a, another avenue of, of something that your your mm -hmm. job allows you to do. That's yeah, like totally different. Yeah, yeah totally. I mean, yeah. I get to go and get, get to do panels and it's fun and you get to be up in front of an audience and yeah. the old stand up stuff comes. You know, like the old you Improv, know bits. You right, know, yeah. right there. You know, deal with a heckler. You know, anything. <laughs> it's just like <laughs> yeah. I can kill a like heckler. I, got Whoa, I can kill yeah. a heckler. <laughs> Um, it's yeah, probably it's, that Sheba yeah. guy that shows oh, yeah, up. Yeah, that Sheba, oh, Sheba, no. Steven Sheba. Yeah. Oh, hey, I Mario. totally forgot about oh, that okay. question. I can't, oh, yeah. I can't Please believe stop that. stop pushing the Steven Sheba button. It was like one of my first top, it was like my, like my first, one of my first ten tweets or something like that. I was like, <laughs> oh, Steven no. Sheba's an asshole. Get this guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> but yeah, I love going to conventions. It's great. And, you know, and, and just, 
you know, nerds are nerds are a sweaty, fun bunch. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you go to a convention, you got to make sure you have enough hand sanitizer because everybody's yeah. just like nervous. They want to shake your hand and you're yeah. like, all right. Oh. Mm, dampness. Wow. Mm. That's yeah. rough. But that's, I don't care about yeah. that. Sweat and spandex. <laughs> How does Sweat your... and spandex. Mm -hmm. Sundays are always bad at a convention. That's all I got to say. Sundays are bad. Sundays are bad and I'll tell them too. If I see you at a convention and it's Sunday, you better stay away from me. <laughs> no hugs. I'm going sp to spray baby powder all over you. Get away from me, you sweaty mess. I've been partying all week. Um, does your wife think it, you're as funny as we no. think you are? As you are? She's so sick and tired of me. Really? Aww. No, she loves me and she she thinks I'm funny. She's it's totally funny, but you know, you're needy, and she's an actress too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I, actually, she's uh, she's um, been on. Um, she was in C Lab 20, uh, 2021 and Frisky Dingo. She was on those the original Adult, adult Swim jams. Kate nice. Miller is her name. Yeah. She's really funny. She was, Kate Miller. Yeah. Kate yeah. Miller. Yes. Yeah. She's yeah. in a movie actually. She's she's in she's in. Uh, I know that voice. It's nice. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, she's just like, all right, you, you don't have to sell me on right. it. Like right. you can take it down a notch. Right. Yeah. I'm trying to. Well, you understand each other's oh, yeah. arenas, but you can yes. also say, okay, yeah. now so we're just gonna. Yeah, you know, we're just gonna That's sit back cool, and, yeah. and watch. Watch. You know, we're gonna we're gonna uh, binge watch Weeds on Netflix. <laughs> and just, you know, kick it, which is awesome. I didn't even know like how great that show is. Wow. Oh I, already, I don't know anything about oh, it. Oh, it's, it's a great show. It's a great show. And that's the best thing about like Netflix and yeah. and that's you can just totally binge watch a show and it's just like, yeah. and people are like on Twitter, like I just binge watch Futurama. It was awesome. I'm like, that's great. That's yeah. exactly what it's for. No, it's great yeah. because I think the other day, cause I was, you know, preparing for you. <laughs> and um, I sanitized my hands. Oh, nice, I, good. No, you have um, to do that. But I was binge watching you a little bit and I love, it was the, it was the episode where you do the casino heist and then it was the uh, when you guys were uh, uh, part of the nature show and you were like salmon spawning. Oh my God, that was a good one. So funny. That was Phil Lamar and did the, uh, <laughs> did the, the kind of the the the, the fertilizing the Morgan the eggs and, the Morgan Freeman. Yeah. yeah. And now, yeah, I love that. Yeah. I, lo I love. So good. Well, who does it? Right, Tom Kane does a great one. Bowser does a great one. I do a pretty good one. Mm. Right now, this penguin is about to be whale shit. <laughs> That's somebody else's bit, but it's still funny. Yeah, yeah. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. On that note, Andy Dufresne. what do you think are your strengths as an actor? Yeah. Um, what do you think makes you... Like you've got your bag of tricks yeah. and what, what's in it? I think that uh, one of the things I've been told um, as an actor is my sense of... Um, my sense of, of connection with the other actor, mm -hmm. to be able to, sh to share that scene and the dialogue. Um, I, think with voice, I think with voice acting though, I think it's, I think it's my ability to, 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 to switch, to, to be able to be like, you know, you know, let's change that up. Okay, great, boom, and, and, right. and fix it, and not be married to something so much so that it's just like, uh, yeah. you know, because of a problem. Um, but I, I, you know, I, I think that, uh, yeah, my, my my sense of contact with with who I'm working with mm -hmm. um, is is a plus, and I don't know. I just think I, I have I have good instincts. Um, Are you an easy person to work with? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> we brought I, a few I people think, to no. I yeah right. <laughs> We're having an intervention, John. This yeah. is a. I think I think I am, but I also think that over the years. You just get a slightly jaded. You get slightly like you know the the. It's like all right, the you know you become less tolerant of the bullshit of it. Um, and there is bull, you know there is like you know like, oh god we gotta do all right come on let's 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 go let's do this you know there's you know you, sometimes you're in a you're in a project and people aren't as experienced as as you, you are, are and yeah. and or or the people that you know that, that you know and in the they're cast going by and, old and yeah home. and it's just like right. you know, yeah oh christ you know let's you know let's move it along you know whatever that because but like i think for the most part i'm the kind of guy well my stomach is that. just like my stomach is just like <laughs> now they can hear it yeah they can totally hear it but i think that i think mm. that people get intimidated because i'm like Right, let's just let's just do it. Let's just right. let's just do it. Like right. let's no bullshit. Let's just go. 
and then they realize like, oh, he's he's invested in this, mm -hmm. but it's just like let's you know let's pick up the pace right, or whatever. Bring your A game and just yeah, do yeah. It. yeah, yeah, and you yeah. know people like I'm the kind of guy who you know might show up late and get you out early. That's what I used to say. Yeah, and now I, I might show up late, no, but I'll get you out early. No, That's a beautiful. No. Yeah, I would yeah. love that. That should be your slogan. Yeah. Were you ever? Do you remember a time um, when you were intimidated? When you walked into a room and said, "Holy Toledo, I'm in here with," or you weren't quite feeling. I don't know if I was. If I was. No, no. Well, there was the first time I did Scooby Doo, and I was sitting there, and like Frank Walker and Casey Kasem were in the room, and I'm just like, uh, I, I felt what? like I should just have a bowl of cereal and yeah. just shut up and be like, it's like Saturday mornings, man. This is awesome. Live. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I don't, I mean, no, I haven't been intimidated. I, I think it's just like if I'm in the room, uh, my game is going to be raised up or your game is going to be raised up. Yeah. Like, it's yeah. just like, okay, cool. Like, I did, like, a Futurama, like, I did, uh, like, um, we had B. Arthur on the show. Awesome. And she was incredible. And I had I did scenes with her. Like, I, we recorded together. And after we did our first take, she was just like, she was just like, you know, was, was that good? Was that okay? And I'm thinking to myself, here's an icon. Yes. In entertainment, mm -hmm. asking me if she was okay, and I was just like, "Man, yeah." And you went, "I went." Well, because you were, but <laughs> I said, "I said, Miss Arthur." I do have a few I said, notes, Miss Arthur. Miss Arthur, Arthur, but I said, Miss no. Arthur, you're doing absolutely fantastic. Mm. This is exactly what they wanted. And she went, "Okay, thank oh you." Oh my gosh! And I'm like, "Man, that's just crazy." So you are a sweet kid. Yeah. You do have yeah, a sweet. Yeah, I mean, definitely. you work but, I, but I don't play that. I don't play that shit, though. That's the other thing. I still don't play that shit. I'm Jersey. Like, that's the problem. Like, it's just like, you can bring some bullshit to the table. I'm going to be like, that's bullshit. <laughs> so, You that's, call a spade a spade, Yeah, right? that's it. That's it. Okay, so, John, you... Wait, before you even say that, I'm just going to tell you that these <laughs> remind me of the Time Life uh, uh, books, the self-help books. It's just like... Mm. Hey, this ta hey, this countertop looks great. Yeah, I did it myself <laughs> with a little help. <laughs> that actor did a triple take at the at the cup, and it was just the stupidest thing. And it makes I you love wonder that. how. I just, it... I just, you know, I just went. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, you're so intense, man. <laughs> All right, so go ahead, and I'm sorry, you're gonna ask the question. <sighs> Okay, go ahead. Okay, oh, go ahead. God, that's so funny. Okay, so you talked about B. Arthur, who I adore. I want to be a golden girl in my next life. Word. Oh, um, <laughs> oh my gosh, I am great. <laughs> um, but you work with celebrities, and you work with on-camera personalities. Yeah. And some are have a beautiful transition, and some Don't. are a little <laughs> Yes. Thank you, Jersey. No problem. Yeah. So what have you found has been, you know, when, work, when working with people from the on-camera side... Um, what are some of like the, I don't know, the, the misconceptions maybe for them? Um, that it's easy, mm. that it's just talking. Mm -hmm. It's like, no, you got a lot more work to do. Like it's, no, it's a little more than that. And, you know, and they come to realize it mm -hmm. and, and, you know, sometimes they get fired. <laughs> sometimes it's like, you know, it's like, oh God, call in Kevin Michael Richardson. It's that. This isn't working out. <laughs> you know, it's just yeah. like, you know, it's, there's a, there's a reason there's only like a certain amount of us that, you know, that, you know, it, it, it's, uh, how many are there? 14. Mm. No, I don't know. If you had to take a wild guess on a number, uh, on a number of the, how, how many, many, how many voice actors are working now? The ones, the, the go to guys and gals. 150. Okay. 100, 150. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, 200. 200. Two, 150, 200. 150 to 200. Okay. That that are that are steady. Yeah. The ones that you know just like yeah, you, the ones you, that are you know, always doing their that's, stuff. Do yeah. you ever have you ever listened? And if you if you think about it, that's the size of a small sports league. That is, yeah, yeah. 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 Compared to you know what I mean? Yeah, and that's why when you're telling people that they want to break into the business, you have to be great, you have to, man. You have yeah. to you have, have to shine. You got to have a 98 mile an hour fastball. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You got to be able to throw junk. You got to be able to do it all. You got to be able to. 
it's... Have you ever you listened know. back to your early work? I mean, because you're obviously... Because you have to keep proving yourself. It's not like, oh, I'm, I've am i made it, I'm done. I mean, you have to keep proving yourself to, to get in those rooms. Um, you know... Do you ever listen back and go, wow, I've... Like, how do you think you've evolved? I think, um... <laughs> evolved. Or devolved. <laughs> devolved. Um, you know... Uh, decomposed. I, 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 how, yeah, are right? decomposing? <laughs> how are you decomposing? How are you decomposing? Well, the death has worked out pretty good in my career, and I just kind of... <laughs> um, no, but, like, it's... I, I think that, uh, y- you know, it's... I mean, Bender sounded different than it, you know, in the beginning than it did at the end. Mm-hmm. And that's just because you just your voice kind of change, changes, changes, and 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 the character changes, and and you know you do things. And when I first started Bender, he was really, he was really back there. He was really you know like this. And then as the show got on, it got a little funk to it. You know, put a little yeah. on it. Yeah, that's right, baby. You know, it just got a little, a little, a little lazier and a little you know, or, or a little you know. Throwing a, little, a couple, throwing a couple bourbons, yeah, and, you know, little, just little, like little, little yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, so you know, it, things always change, and they, they're never. I don't know, you know. Sometimes I listen, to, or if if I do listen to stuff, I'm like, oh, that was funny. I forgot that that was funny. Like, mm-hmm. if I watch an old Futurama, I'll be like, holy shit, I forgot we did that bit. You know, and a lot of the stuff cracks me up that everybody else does. It's not like I'm like, what is Bender doing? Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. What is Bender doing? Bullshit, bullshit. You know, it's just like, yeah. no, it's like, mm-hmm. I, 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 I would have watched Futurama even if I wasn't on it. Like, it's yeah. that funny, yeah. you know? Yeah. Um, but it's just, I, I don't know. I think, I think it's a matter of maintaining your, I, I don't know if it's a, if it's about maintaining the, the, the quality. I, I it's. It's about how am I gonna put this here? This is this is tough. It's about being able to to really know how to uh, uh, conserve your energy. Mm-hmm. I really think that that has a lot to do with it because your skills are already there, your tools are already there. It's already ready to go. You got them right there, bam, bam. But like, you have to know how to Use how to pull tools. back. Yeah, yeah, how to just. Because you can't just be Blow like full out. throttle. Yeah. You got to be like no, and you got to, and you have to have the sense sensibility to be able to go. You know what? We can't do six takes of this because this vocal, this this choice, this character choice of this this voice isn't going to last, and you're going to end up spending more money. And I don't want to do that to you. So let's make sure we get it mm-hmm. and and walk away from it. Like you know, right. it's I don't know. I think I think just. Really being honest with yourself is the most important thing. I don't know, as far as like the you know the 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 evolving of one's voice. You're always going to have it, or maybe it's you know maybe you don't. Maybe you're maybe you actually start to devolve, and you have to understand what you need to do to get to those places that you mm-hmm. yeah. that you used to get to really easy. Yeah. 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 So it's I don't know. It's a, there's a I think a lot has to do with with the energy that you put forward. That's cool, man. If you were if you were a a, a casting director. For an animation show, yeah, um, and maybe you weren't even a voice actor, but you do, but, but you love doing. If you call you now, we'll actors. triple the order. Uh, why would you hire you? Why would you hire John DiMaggio on your show? Um, why would you want him on the show? Uh, because um, I'm gonna be able to do the job, get it done. Um, I'm I'm funny in the studio. Uh, I can riff. Uh, I can be. Um, I can I can be no holds barred. I can be reserved, <laughs> um, but I can uh, I can do the job and and make it easy on you. Good. Um, I think that's I think that's that was what the I can do. That right matched there. the I answer that you got. I can make your yeah. I can make your job I can make your job, yeah. 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 job yeah. kind of easy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you know, and if I and the other thing is, if I can't do it, I know the guy who does who can. Mm-hmm. And, I'm not and, a, are, and I don't have a problem no, being like, no. you know what. I'm not sure. I'm the right. I'm, I'm not even sure if I'm the right person for this. Have you yeah. talked to them? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And you that's know, one of the cool things I about that, about you gosh. about yeah. the big boys is that you guys do that to, with each other. You guys say, you know what? I can do that, but you, the guy you really want is it's this guy. And that's he, usually and yeah. that and that goes back to being in the audition. Yeah. If you're able to be in the room with. You know, with the with the with with the guy that's cast, or with the people that are casting it, mm-hmm. and be able to be like, you know, I can, yeah, I can do this. Like yeah. Steve, like Steve Bloom, yeah, mm-hmm. who is fantastic. Yeah. We were all in a room once, a bunch of us. It was like me and 
Fred Tatashore and a, and a bunch of other guys, and we were all auditioning for this thing that eventually went to the guy who originated it, Charlie Adler. It was, mm -hmm. a, I forget what, it was a, it was some bit on some show, and they were doing a G.I. Joe parody or something like that, and it was, it was, it was Destro or whatever, whoever the character is, and we were all sitting there going, yeah, we can all do this, but have you, why would you, why, not, why, are, yeah. why aren't you bringing in Steve Why would you the guy? <laughs> like, yeah. and we didn't even yeah. think about getting the guy. We didn't know who did yeah. it originally. Turns out it was Charlie, and he got, you know, he, they called him up, and he went and did it. Right. But Steve, we all called him. Like, we all got on the horn, and we were like, and we told the casting director, we were like, no, nah, you got to see Steve. And she was like, really? And we were like, yeah. <laughs> and within, like, 25 minutes, like, he was there to audition for it. Mm -hmm. But we were... You know, and Steve was just like, wow, man, you yeah. guys. That's cool. I mean, and Steve's a great guy. Steve's yeah, talented yeah. and Sweet, wonderful yeah. and yeah. just really great. And mm -hmm. him and him and uh, Mary, him and Mary, that's awesome. What a nice, sweet story that is. Yeah. But, uh, so that's for, that's for another time. No, but I think it also speaks to the fact that you guys are good in your skin. You're, you're not covetous of, oh, I can't extend a hand to somebody else or be generous because right. it's going to take away from me because yeah. you guys do what you do you feel good about what you do and sometimes you win it and sometimes you don't you, yeah. you hand it over to your buddy and you're like go go rock it yeah. be great and yeah. I think that's important to have that great that gratitude it's all about yeah. knowing your strengths if you're mm -hmm. not going to be the best person for the job it's just like I'd rather I'd rather be the guy to go you know what I'm wasting your time let's let's stop get this guy mm -hmm. and that's that's it you there know you and then, and then that's gonna endear me to that's gonna endear me to them down the road. Yeah. So right. get that uh, Dimaggio you know, guy. The guy. I, with the, uh, I would describe Dimaggio, Dimaggio as endearing. Guy. That endearing. Is, that's, that's it. <laughs> you're very endearing. Right, endearing. Fresh. So I love to cook, and I think you like to cook. Here. I like to cook. Okay. So like, what is your perfect dinner party menu? Ooh. Like, if you have people over, what's like your? Yeah. I'm gonna have people over. Besides um, the bacon pancake thing. <laughs> oh Christ. <laughs> Bacon pancakes. <laughs> Can we talk about the phenomenon? <laughs> Forget about what I'm going to do at a dinner party. The phenomenon of Whoa. bacon pancakes. That song on Adventure Time is the most ridiculous. Like, it's just like it's making pancakes, making bacon pancakes. I take some bacon and I put it in a pancake. Bacon pancakes, that's what it's going to make. Bacon pancakes. It's just <laughs> ridiculous. Now, the thing is, is that there's a remix of it. Um, a remix? There's no. A remix. You haven't seen it? No. Oh, no. there's a mashup. There's a mashup? There's a mashup with um, Alicia Keys' New York. No. And bacon pancakes. It is. Oh, I got to check that No, out. you got to. All right, after we're done, we'll, I'll, you yeah, got to okay, watch it. Okay. It is the sickest thing. And then, just recently, we <laughs> celebrated our, our, our um, 200th episode. Like, we did 11-minute episodes. We just mm -hmm. celebrated our 200th episode awesome. on Adventure Time, which was huge. And just that week, um, the guy who plays Wolverine, uh, what's his face? Uh, um, the, the, what the hell is his name? Oh, with the, 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 the actor, the, the guy who plays name? Wolverine. Hugh, uh, Hugh, Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman. Yeah. Hugh Jackman was on vacation or something, and he, <laughs> he lip-synced bacon pancakes, and he, sh he put it on his Twitter page, and it got like a million likes or some oh shit. Gosh. And it's just like, it's a phenomenon. Uh, like, Adventure Time is just crazy. There's a bullet train in Korea yeah. That is Jake. Oh. The face of Jake on the front of the train and the whole train is yellow. That's crazy, man. There's a water park in Dubai that they're doing that's going to be massive. Mm -hmm. That's an Adventure Time themed water park. So cool. Crazy. Um, like when I, was in, when I was in Melbourne, Australia, the last time I was over there, there was an Adventure Time house. There was this guy. Like <laughs> we were there and they were like, uh, hey, mate, hey, have you seen the uh, Adventure Time house? We're like, what are you talking about? It's a guy, yeah, painted his house uh, Adventure Time all over it. So it's there, and we'll, we'll tell you where it is. So I'm like, all right, cool. <laughs> he charges so a we fee. Went, so we went, and it's this house on a corner, oh and it's gosh. decked out. It's on my Twitter. It's on my Twitter. It's crazy, and it's beautiful. And we knock on the door, and there's a guy like who opens the door, and he's like, hey, hello. And, and we're like... Yeah, hi. I was like, I'm, hi, I'm John Jack. DiMaggio. This is Jeremy Shader. We're the voice of uh, 
Finn and Jake from Adventure Time. And he's like, he's got no, <laughs> he obviously just woke up. And it's like 10, 1030 in the morning. And he's, and he's like, I'll be right down. And he, he comes down, he's dressed, and he's like, oh, yeah. It, it was oh. hilarious. He painted his house that, the, 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 the Adventure Time stuff, because he's across the street from a park. And he wanted the kids to have something nice to look at. That's cool. So Can you imagine? Yeah. Did he freak out? Oh, yeah. We guys? took pictures yeah. with him and everything. It was awesome. It was great. But yeah. it's just like, the show is just like, it's mind-blowing. And going back to like being at cons, like everybody watches the show from like 1 to 92. Mm -hmm. Like families will come up to me and dad is dressed as the Ice King. Mom is Princess Bubblegum. Oh the, 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 the oldest daughter has made her own BMO costume. And the baby is, is you know, is a lumpy space princess. You've never seen anything more adorable <laughs> than a so... nine-month-old baby Aww. dressed as lumpy space princess. Yeah. It's, oh, my lamps. It's just like, oh, my God. It's it's crazy. And I never knew. I never knew. That's that's what's going on <laughs> yeah, in there. Yeah, you never knew. You never knew. <laughs> um, you could vomit in your mouth uh, and Yes, talk? exactly. Mm. Uh, ooh. New skill. Um, yeah. Sour. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, but it's just huge, <laughs> and I never had any idea how big it would get. And and it's funny. It's just like it's just it's just wild. I, That's I, so it's, cool, it's, man. It's just so. But you know what? I'd serve at, at a dinner party. Yeah. Yes, and we're back. <laughs> I would serve. Uh, let's see, um, like a spanakopita, anything with a oh. puff pastry, pastry with spinach. Did you just say works. spanakopita? Yeah, sure, spanakopita. I I would yeah. have a spanakopita. Oh, all day. Like, yeah, yeah. I love you can have mad little bite -sized, spanakopitas yeah, little right bite -sized. here. Mm -hmm. Listen, you could also, I mean, like, listen, fancy pants, pigs in a blanket, never fail with a good Dijon mustard, mm -hmm. good puff pastry, and like a good, a good, a good hot dog, like a like a good beef hot dog. Like, there's good ones. Yeah, not a vegetarian. Um, yeah, no, no, no. A, a crudite. Yeah, yeah. Crudite platter. You gotta have a crudite platter. Yeah. Um, and, um, you know, just uh, light on the fried foods. Yeah. Light on the fried foods and, uh, and, and a charcuterie plate. Charcuterie's oh, nice. always good to just put out. And I'm not, I'm not big on, like, having, like, if I'm gonna have a party, it's gonna have food to eat, but not necessarily you're gonna sit down and have it. But like, right, couple bites. You can, you can. Like I've, mm -hmm. like I've like smoked a piece of pork, like you know, for parties and stuff like that. But like you know, it's just like, whatever. It yeah. it all depends. It all depends. Nice. You can you can roast a, you can roast a big big thing of salmon. Have that. It it's just, it's easy if you just prep it. Yeah. <laughs> it's easy. It's, it's easy if you prep it. It's true. It is no, it's all easy in the prep. You, it's all in the prep. It's all in the prep. All in the prep. Mm -hmm. If you. You know, that's your mise en place. Mise en place, for those who don't know, is how you have everything <laughs> set. Rich. You have everything set mm -hmm. that you need to go before you even start. Yes. Before you even start cooking, you got everything okay, measured out, Okay, let me tell you out, why. Because yeah. your birthday is what? September 4th. 4th. I'm September 10th. It's a Virgo thing. That's that's we're right. We're very good at Absolutely. parties because we're very organized. And my and my wife is a Scorpio, and she's she's like she's mad chef too. Oh man, she kicks ass in the kitchen. That's it's cool. Awesome. Man. I love it. Who taught you how to cook? Um, I was a last key kid, but I also like you know listen. You're an actor. You work in a kitchen. Mm -hmm. You're gonna wait. You're gonna wait tables. You're gonna bartend. You're gonna work the front door. You're gonna you're Have gonna you you're done gonna all work. Those things? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, you paid know. some dues. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. I paid my dues in, in my younger days, and then luckily enough, I was able to, the last, the last, the last straight gig I had was, uh, I was, uh, I was a waiter at uh, Fridays in Woodbridge, New Jersey. Nice. Oh, it was hell. Oh, it was gosh. hell. And I quit because we had to go, like I was doing stand-up, and I, we, we got this job doing these, these, you know how they have promos for like HBO or Cinemax or whatever. Yeah. We did these things and we had these promos and like we were able. It was like when we first started shooting, when we first started doing stand up and like it was our first big like paid gig and yeah. they wouldn't they wouldn't give us the time off and we were like we gotta have this time off we gotta go shoot, shoot this stuff and they were, they were like forget it forget it. We adios gotta go. jalapeno poppers yeah exactly yeah, right? <laughs> totally and they were like we were gonna make you a bartender I was like oh, like, oh yeah I'm yeah. glad see I got later. out yeah. see you later take, make your, a, take your green apron yeah make a Baltimore <laughs> zoo for somebody else <laughs> Baltimore zoo um, is there any <laughs> advice along the way that you've gotten that you really feel has kind of put you in check and helped you in your career I had a teacher in college that was really cool. His name was uh, um, um, Martin Jacoby, and he was really cool. Uh, 
was a speech teacher, and he was the first guy to be like, if you're playing a character that's that's from Springfield, Missouri, call up the police department. Mm -hmm. And this was back in the '80s, so you didn't yeah. have like a yeah. you didn't have the the, the internet. Yeah, you didn't have right. anything that you know. He didn't have any of that internet crap. Um, but he was the first guy to be like, you know, do that. Talk to the talk to the you know the 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 operator, the the you know the person running the switchboard, mm -hmm. and and mm -hmm. and have a you know talk to them. Go to dim sum. Like go to New York City and go to dim sum and listen and hear and and be that and like he just said explore. Mm. And I think that was the thing that just was like, yeah, that's the that's the greatest thing. Like to have that freedom to be able to be like I need to suck this in like a sponge. Yeah, being this curious. In. And, yeah. And, yeah, yeah, being curious and exploring and being able to like consciously say I need to suck this. Yeah, in. yeah, mm -hmm. I need to take this in and yeah. I need to, I need to process it because I'm gonna use this down the road. There you are, beautiful. I'm just going to preface before we start up again that the, I'm going to take the longest fart of my life <laughs> when I get in the car after this. I, I'm sorry. Let's it's just make, one of those things. Let's leave that. I had we'll leave that. The I had chicken rolling. Slovakia, <laughs> and I'm just like, Slovakia. it is just sitting here. It's here. Listen, and you got to let it out, man. It's not no, healthy it's to hold be, it in. No, I know. And, and if you need to okay. go there now, oh, we no, can just... Like, I'm going to be in the car just like... I'm glad I'm able to fart with yeah. a little help. Yeah, totally. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Come on. That's but that's the funny is. thing. Like, when you get old, man, you're just like, oh, Christ, I got this goddamn gas. This yeah. the like, you know, you just like, you know, you get the just fart happens. before. Now you're just like, I've got gas. Somebody yeah. get a Tums. It's fucking awful, man. Your 40s are, they're great, like, spiritually <laughs> and, like, for your, for your soul. But, like, yeah. your body is just like, fuck you. <laughs> My, my god is just like no <laughs> and like the farts are different now they used to be funnier now they're just like and you're just like god damn what the hell was that is that an <laughs> elephant just walked through this room this is bullshit uh, oh christ okay, go, i'm please. sorry this segment is sponsored by gas x um <laughs> sorry <laughs> on that note do you have any current projects Precious, that you would um, like to talk about? <laughs> sure, I do. No, sorry. Anyway, in um, between your no, flatulence, it's, yeah, in between my flatulence, I'm gonna. Uh, no, it's um, uh, the Gears of War trilogy that they redid is is really, really huge. Um, they they announced it at uh, at E3, and it's uh, it's really cool because they they it's all in HD now, and we redid some of the vocal stuff. Mm. And the Gears of War fans are huge. Like awesome. that's another yeah. thing yes. that like has been like a really big deal for me. And I, I I love being associated with that project. And and so it's been it's been really cool. And and the that that's coming out. I forget, I don't know the date, but it's coming out soon. Yeah, and it's gonna Google be it. it's gonna be dope. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, Adventure Time still chugging along. Yeah. They're talking about that movie. They just signed up to do the the you know the the feature film. They haven't talked to us yet, about it yet, mm -hmm. and it's it's not like you know I can't talk about it, but like I don't really have anything to talk about because they sure. haven't talked to me yeah. about it. Yeah. But like I'm excited yeah. for whoever's for doing it. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> because yeah. it's going to be great. And I have a feeling I'm involved, but yeah. you know I'm not. You know, never knock on wood. Yeah. Hey, anybody? Penguins of Madagascar? Anybody? <laughs> anybody? <laughs> what happened, huh? fellas? You guys? <laughs> Is everybody? Thank you, Mr. Katzenberg. You, anyway. Yeah, that was that was a fun one. That was yeah. a fun one to be just like. Yeah. Oh, this is what kind of what is this? Yeah, Are you serious? Yeah. You got to enjoy the moments while they last. Oh hell yeah! You and you got to and you also got to be able to be like, no, nah, I can walk away from this. And yeah. and and then when you know, then when you walk away from it, you go, oh man, was that a good idea? And then you see the reviews and you're like, yes, I did it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Woo! Wasn't a part of that. Yeah. <laughs> You know, <laughs> I'd have got better reviews if I was. Yes, <laughs> self worth. This self guy is freaking nuts. He said, but oh you know, my god, Dimaggio, what do you think you would do if you were a performer? I'd be, uh, I'd, be in a, I'd be in a kitchen. I'd be, I'd be, yeah. I'd be cutting up. Yeah, he'd be, I'd be yeah. cutting yeah. my fingers. Yeah, yeah, be cutting my fingers. I, I would, I would. I would like about to see you on Chopped. Yes. Chopped. Dude, you'd be so funny on no, I No, I couldn't. Would, you you no. would walk over I, and chase I, I, the no, clock. No, I wouldn't make it. I wouldn't make it. I wouldn't make it. I wouldn't make it. I'd be like, I'd be like, like grinding onions, and they'd be like, time. And you're like, what the fuck? 
Look, I'm dude, not even done with I my just, onion. I just started. I, I didn't get my plate. I didn't start, man. I, oh. Son of a bitch. Yeah. But yeah, I oh. mean, uh, you know. But I think I, you and Ted Allen might get into something. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know. I, no, but no, that guy's all right. He's, yeah. he's, How do people follow you on your Twitter, man? Uh, What's your handle? At the John DiMaggio. There's mm -hmm. a picture of me. Like at a press conference. Yes, it's very official. It's very, okay. it's a very good picture. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm keeping that for a long <laughs> He's time. He's keeping that for a About long time. Six, head. seven years from nice. now, the same picture yeah. on my Twitter. Um, and it's also got the the picture of Bender and and, and Jake the dog in it, and it's very cool. Yeah. And and they'll they'll know. But I'm also on Instagram at the John DiMaggio, and then. I'm gonna start doing more vines. I gotta do some more vines because vines mm -hmm. are where it's at, and yeah. So I have some things I want to do on vines. Tweet of the Everyone day. Everyone needs to get. I know that voice. Go to iTunes. Absolutely. iTunes. Go to Facebook and like the page. Follow it. Support it. It's so great. Absolutely. It's and so great. Yeah, and 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 yeah, that's okay, that's really great. Okay. okay. Oh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get you an if question. Okay. Just give me a number between five and 127. Um, 82. 82. Okay. If you could have worked for anyone in history, in your own field, who would you choose? Hmm. Interesting. Worked for. Mm -hmm. Worked for anyone in, in my, history. In history, in my field, who would it have been? Wow, that's a good one. Um... Take your time. We'll talk amongst ourselves. Yeah, we'll talk amongst ourselves. Doom, 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 doom. I think, uh, wow. I would have loved to have um, worked with, I don't know, like it's, that's such a broad question. There's so many like different things. Like, I mean, who wouldn't have wanted to work with like, um, um, like it, I would I would have loved to have like worked for like Keith Richards or something or Keith like Richards. why not just be like hey, personal go, assistant go, go get me go get me a little, <laughs> come and give me a baggie will you, will you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah um I mean Walt Disney I would have loved to have worked yeah, I was yeah. thinking about Walt you. Disney yeah. like that would have been cool or or yeah, um or yeah just anybody from the Hanna Barbera yeah. or I mean shit it's, it's even now like like Steven Spielberg like to have done like anything. Under his belt, Andre Romano. Yes. yes. Um, let's see. Uh, you know, I'm lucky because I've got to work with a lot of really great yeah. people. So it's just like when it t it took me a long it's it's taken me a long time to really figure out and give a definitive answer because it's like I've been lucky, man. I've been able to work with a lot of great people, yeah, and have, so man. it's just like you I'm have. kind of like <clears throat> the wish list is small because like. You yeah, know, I've yeah. been, you know, you get in the studio and you're like, holy shit, this guy, like, what? Yeah. wow. Yeah. I can't believe this happened. You know, what's happened. cool is now you're on a lot of people's wish lists coming which up. Is which is kind of fun. Great. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of fun. And then I crush their dreams. <laughs> 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 That's a sweet boy. <laughs> yes. Yes. I break Wait, it down. Not too hard. You yes. don't want to hurt your neck. Yes, I know. <laughs> oh, no, my God. Careful. Oh, Dude. DiMaggio, you are awesome. Thank Absolutely. you so much. Man. I'm so glad Thank this you. finally came together. Yes, yeah. I Patience am too. and persistence. Yes. Thank applause. you so you much. Know, you did it. With, Let's do a little uh, on-camera cheers yeah. here, man. Here we go. Salud. Everybody, cheers. Cheers. Everybody, do the, everybody, do the, everybody do the take. Everybody do the take. Wow, we just got bugged. Yeah. <laughs> on DiMaggio, baby. That's it. Yeah. And yeah. yes. guess what? We're going to be back next week. See Adios. you later. <laughs> Bye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm John DiMaggio. <laughs> then I just got buzzed with Chuck and Stacy. Oh, dude. <laughs> How was that? Hey, I'm John DiMaggio, and I just got buzzed with Chuck and Stacy. Isn't that great? <laughs> a little help. <laughs> hey, I'm John DiMaggio, and I just got buzzed with Chuck and Stacy. Isn't that great? It's totally awesome. What?
Well, how cool is that? That some of the biggest guys and, and, and women in the business come here to this show to share with you guys out there, wherever you are, all over the world. I love that. I love it too. And how much do we love John DiMaggio? He's John awesome. DiMaggio is freaking awesome. Such He's a crazy. big heart. He's great. Absolutely. We love. We hope you guys enjoyed the show. And we're going to be back next week with a new episode for you. Absolutely. Keep up with us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And know we love you guys and so appreciate you watching. And just remember, you, you always, always have, have time, time for a little buzz. buzz.